Okay guys, I'm gonna start now with my eyebrow and I'm just gonna put this aside so you can see. Right, done, okay. So my first step is I always go in with my Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil first. I love this, it has a little comb as you can see. So beautiful. It literally just does everything. It's just perfect. So I love to just swipe them up and give them a good brush before. Always start with about here and you really wanna just start building up your dark darkest part just above your pupil. That's usually a tip and you don't really want it to be really dark in the center because that can become quite severe and it can look a little bit harsh. So I just go for this and I bring it down. Hopefully you guys can see. I naturally have very dark eyebrows and I've noticed that lighter brows are actually a bit more of a trend at the moment. So I've actually gone for, this shade's actually medium brown. Now you can see my eyebrows, they are not medium brown, but it just gives it a little less, like I said, harsh look, which I'm really here for, loving it. So this step, Looks like I'm not doing anything, but it, honestly, you have to kind of take your time and just build, build it up, baby. Just keep going with these little strokes. This is why I love this because it has a nib and I always find that like having a nib actually makes it look like a bit more realistic if you don't have thicker brows. So I literally just do upward strokes like your eyebrow hair naturally would. As you can see, I have a little gap and I don't like this gap. So I always try and fill it in. Um, some people are blessed with just full eyebrows everywhere. Also, you kind of want to bring your line a little bit down. Apparently it really, well, it really helps if you want more of a lifted brow look, then you want to kind of draw your eyebrows underneath slightly, like ever so slightly. And it gives this illusion because the point that starts here means that this is your highest point, And that means that's going to look even more lifted. So. But how are you guys feeling about brows at the moment? Let's talk about it, let's talk about it. Are you feeling like the feathered, really bushy brow is still something that you guys love? Because I've seen a lot more kind of thinner brow and I actually think it's because of people like Pamela Anderson. I think that kind of clean, tiny 90s brow is actually on its way back. So if you are rocking small brows, then just go for it they're in. I actually would say that my style is kind of like in between. I like a kind of feathered look but not so feathered because I just think it's a little bit, I don't know, it, if you love that look, good for you but I just find it a little bit too bold on the face. I remember somebody once told me the thing that they see when they look at my face first is my brows and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I should have been like offended. It was a girl. I don't know. What about you guys? Do you think that's a compliment? Anyway, now I like to bring it down. Now, a good tip, where to finish your brow is basically you wanna line up your nose with the corner of your eye and that is where your brow should finish. So, mine can be brought down slightly, a little bit down. Not so much, but like, you know, you wanna give it a little bit of a tail. Okay. I'm happy with that. So once you are satisfied, I have just gone and given that bit a bit more. I always think also you can push this product through and see kind of what you're working with. As you can see, this one is a lot thicker at the moment and my magic trick will literally help transform them to look like this brow. So I'm just gonna make this look even more filled. And another tip is that if you want to know where to end your eyebrows at the start, at the center, you kind of want to, you want to see where your nostril ends. And that is a good indicator of where your brow should end. Now you can draw them even closer if you like. <laughs> and that is about done. I think that is good. I'm going to go with that. This is literally my everyday brow. 
and honestly when you get your brows like done and when you really nail this it makes your whole rest of your makeup look so bomb it makes it look so good so clean if you want that clean look start with the brows as i am happy with the filling in now the next step which is the most exciting part is literally you want to take a little spoolie is that what they're called I've literally had a blank. Yeah, these are spoolies. <laughs> okay, you want to take one of these. I take my Got To Be Glued hair gel. Hair gel is fine for the brows, don't be afraid. If you do this for your edges, it'll be absolutely fine for your brows too. So take a little bit of that. I like to put it on my hand because then I can control how much I'm actually going to put on the brows. You want like a good amount. You want a good amount to be able to kind of move the brow, but you don't want tons. Some of you would actually maybe prefer just leaving your brow like this, but I know that if you want that kind of like, my eyebrows have just been like waxed and trimmed, then this is a step that you do want to do. So, literally take a bit on my hand and just smooth it in. And then I am going to always start really at the middle again and just start brushing it up. Now, you could leave this as high as you want. But I, like I said, I like a kind of in-between. So I like to smooth it. And then we'll see how much we should keep it up. So just literally upward strokes. Can you see the difference already? Mm -hmm. Upward strokes. And then I'm going to take it and just smooth it down a bit. So. And because this is so wet and moist, you can literally keep moving it. Keep moving the product and it really does give such a lifted look. I'm going to bring it back down a bit. Also, like I said, if you feel like mm, you want it a bit higher, a bit lower, you can just keep moving this. And I think also it's really good tip is to take the end and just do the center brows. And guys, this will hold, like this will hold all day, I promise you. Some people like the soap brow. Do you know what? This works for me and it gives me that kind of just got my brows done look. And that, my friends, is the finished look. So I let that set a bit and it will dry down. And that is my brows done. You find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa